So I'm here with Townsend Colin, the voice of uh, Michelangelo as well as The Tick. And uh, does it take a lot of confidence to voice bravado and cool characters like The Tick and Michelangelo? Well, yeah, kind of, sort of, and that's why I'm not so good at it because I, 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 don't, I don't have any confidence. <laughs> I can't say it takes bravado and confidence. I think, uh, you know, I just close my eyes and uh, hope something comes out right. <laughs> <laughs> it's been working for you for many years, I'll tell you that. Yeah, well, I've been faking it for many years, yeah, so. You're very convincing, then. Oh, thank you. Uh, when voicing a big blue character like the Tick, do you voice him standing upright with your hands on your hips, or uh, could you do him sitting down as well? You know, actually, I, I did, did the entire series sitting down. Yeah, I don't know that I could do it standing up. Oh, really? Yeah, it would be kind of weird. I, it's e somehow easier for me to relax and just, you know, sort of be, uh, uh, you know, I was going to say at one with the character. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I just, uh, I work sitting down. So it's, um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Now, Michelangelo is addicted to pizza. Do you share the same addiction? And what's your favorite kind of pizza? I can't say it's an addiction. I love pizza, and uh, I'm not so much an anchovy and hot fudge guy, although anchovy and hot fudge is not a bad way to go, dudes. Um, but I think Townsend likes pretty much just like mushroom and pepperoni. Yeah. Uh, what's it like to have action figures in video games based on the characters that you voiced? Totally awesome! I mean, dude, are you serious? How many action figures do you have of you on your bookshelf at home? That would be none. <laughs> yeah. I'm but I have lots of you. <laughs> yeah, well, I, well, I thank you. Yeah, you know, I started getting characters, um, uh, action figures of Michelangelo when he first started coming out in, uh, what, 88 or so. And, uh, and then they started coming out. They, they were, like, uh, multiplying like rabbits. And there were too many of them, and I had to finally stop collecting. But it's very cool. I try and get at least one character of, uh, or one action figure of all the characters that I've done. So. You have some of the Lego stuff, too? I don't have any of the Lego stuff. I, yeah. It's so good. Oh. They, 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 they captured your likeness. No, that's, that's, actually, that's one that I don't have. So okay. I, 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 highly I, recommend I know where I'm going shopping. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in a lot of ways, Mikey kind of sounds like a stone teenager. Was that what you were going for with this character, or where did you draw the inspiration from there? Uh, that's actually what they were going for. And I, and I don't want to say stoned character. They weren't going for a stoned character. But they did want the, the sort of surfer dude, right. you know, sort of thing when we were auditioning for it. And, um, and they, they had given, uh, as a reference, uh, Sean Penn in uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. And I thought, okay, I sort of got that vibe a little bit. And so I tried that, and it worked. You're listening to Game On. Tremble in fear at our three different times of ships.